Profile Nutrition Exalt is comprised of three performance blends. We put these blends together, we thought about hydration, mental focus, a pump. First of all, with hydration, we looked at the electrolytes. We want to make sure we have potassium, a Himalayan sea salt, magnesium in this side of the formula. We looked at mental focus, we wanted to add things like neural factor and alpha GPC. We looked at the pump, we wanted to add things, of course, like Hydromax and Atrocygen. All these things combined is what I look for in a premium performance pre-workout supplement. These things combined will allow me to enhance my workout and make sure I'm getting a good training session, training session after training session. Welcome everyone to the Female Bodybuilding Channel and we're joined by the world's most epic 50-year-old woman in the world, Irene Anderson, and she just told me she's got COVID. What's going on? Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I came home and I felt good and uh, yeah, just took it because I've been traveling around so much. So um, just in case, so I was shocked. But a couple of days later, after the positive result, um, now I'm feeling uh, like I have a cold. Uh, not not too bad, but uh, yes, I have a cold. <laughs> so you did whatever it takes. You you went first to was it Mexico? No, Turkey. Where was it first? Where did you go first from Sweden? <laughs> Turkey. Uh, sixteen sixteen days to Turkey. Yes. And then you went to. Then we flew over to Phoenix, and did the Rising Phoenix show. So tell us about Rising Phoenix show. First of all, you were in the best shape of your life after rising correct uh, correct yes walk us through rising in your your aspect in your opinion how the show was how was how was the show for you oh it, it was amazing uh and actually we were glad that they moved it back to phoenix because you know the hotel and you know the stage and everything was like familiar so um it was uh, actually nice that they moved it back there. Um, everything went smooth. Uh, the girl looked amazing. Uh, everything went good. Except that we needed to have the mask on stage. That was hard. <laughs> T tell people, how is, it to st how, how is it to be on stage with a mask on? Tell us more about that. How does that feel? That was, that was actually terrible because it's, it's so hard to be on stage. You, you this uh dehydrated and um tired and everything that it takes to be on the stage and you come up and uh, the lightning takes the less, last water you have in your body and then you, you try to breathe and you don't get any air you know it's like uh wow i, I was so close painting and uh, a lot of girls in the lineup when we left the stage someone was throwing up and two three girls was nearly fainting and we had some help backstage we it, that was terrible it was rising phoenix uh let's jump over that and go into what we all want to talk about we just saw the one of the most what can i say for me, it wasn't only women's Miss Olympia that was special at the Olympia. It was the whole... It, tell us about the atmosphere about the Olympia, because every athlete I talk to have their own opinion. Uh, how was the atmosphere in Orlando? I think that they found an amazing place to have the Olympia. Um, the hotel, the staff that was working there, it was so nice. Um, helpful. I think everybody was positive. Um, and how they, I don't get it how they could manage to do that in that short time because the stage was amazing, the lightning, uh, everything was like point on point. Um, and everybody I talked to was positive, and uh, we just really were so happy that it happened that we that we could go up on stage. So um, I have only only good things to say. I got to say, Irene, it was really special. Uh, for me, the whole event was special because um, it, it was so many of you athletes that it wasn't only the girls. It was all the athletes to get there. It, it, it was almost like a celebration, you know? It was like every athlete had their own story. And uh, I remember your story was special, but 
I felt like every athlete had a story just to ke- come there. You know, it was like and when Jake came out and it was just, <laughs> it was just like, wow, it's happening. I was commentating on, a, I had a show called AJ's Road to the O and it was just, but when you girls came out, Irene, on Friday, <laughs> wow. Huh? And you know what? I'm going to brag about this because I was the first female bodybuilder who touched that stage when of the return because I'm always because of my last name Anderson I'm yeah. always first in the lineup so I was the first da- uh, lady who entered the stage <laughs> it was uh, and Irene you were in even better shape at the Olympia than you were at the rising weren't walk us through what happened to you because you told me you had a little what can I say? Something happened to you. Tell us what happened two days before stepping on stage. It was actually a Tuesday night. We, we, we moved from one hotel to another on, on Monday. So I pre-cooked my chicken Sunday evening. Yeah. And uh, then I had my box with my chicken more or less out the whole day because I was eating during the day. I took it to the gym and it was in the car and I, that was stupid. I would never do that again. So Tuesday evening, I got so sick. So I spent like 24 hours in the bathroom. Uh, I was really, really sick. I was like, okay, bye-bye, Miss Olympia. That was, yeah, I, I was so pissed off by myself that because it, it was chicken, 100%, because that was the only thing I was eating, you know. So I um, went up, uh, took a shower, and my coach took me to the gym, and we made the last training session to empty out everything from your body. Uh, so I did that without eating for 24 hours. And I posted a picture from that training session, and it looked, uh, I, it looked good still. So i like, okay. We're going for Olympia. And, um, but I think we had a bit problem to get rid of the last water. So uh, my coach was watching my shape during the night. Um, at like 5.30 in the morning, he said, put your clothes on, we're going to the gym. I'm like, really? I was so tired. I was so, Irene, I, was I saw the video you sent me, Irene. <laughs> in the middle of the night, I was like, Irene, you're peaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I had to do like half an hour cardio that morning and then up to the hotel room again and we had so warm in the room and had clothes on me so but uh, I got rid of the water wow. I did it <laughs> when, when you looked at yourself 54 years old with that food was it, had some bad food you were peaking at age 54 you were in Orlando Weren't you proud? Yes, I was proud. I was proud. Um, it was like, yeah, a dream come true. I could be on the Miss Olympia stage after so many years. And uh, that I was the first to enter the stage and in my best shape ever. So, yeah, I'm happy. You're really happy, eh? So... And we have the all the medals here. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. What a special, special. Yeah, because no, it was amazing. It was amazing. What was but it? Now, but, <laughs> but now it's like, uh, what would you say? Was it? It's just that watching a documentary and following your journey and seeing you on stage with food poisoning. Um, <laughs> peaking and not only you but all the girls you because we we watched the show with a group of guys ipb pro samson dauda and uh, an mpc competitor and a a guy called george was and i have to i left the room because i I had to cry i was so (laughs) like I, i left the room um the guys were like whoa whoa look at the muscle look at the condition Look at, look out. And there was not one, oh, she looks like a dude or it wasn't, it wasn't that feeling at all. You know what I mean? And it was, it's, it, 
it it was like sometimes I was afraid last year that Jake had to force it. You know what I mean? Like f- learn to love it type <laughs> of feel. But I feel this yeah. Olympia people. Tell us about the back. How were people reacting to you live when you girls came out? Because we just saw on screen. How were people reacting live to you girls? Um, very very good. Uh, we felt like. They really wanted us back, so um, it was heartwarming to go out on the stage and feel the, the audience and um, so much positive. Your know, my email and uh, Instagram and Facebook after the show was like I never had so many messages like uh, after the show, All, only positive. Maybe I, I I think I I had one of thousand emails and. Things on Instagram that was bad, but only positive. How many people wedding people were really happy to see us? How many wedding proposals did you get? <laughs> uh, they came in a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And w- when you did the post down and Backstreet Backstreet Boys came on, I almost fell off my chair. I mean, because <laughs> this, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Um, Back to the to the results. Um, for me, this is not um, Andrea Shaw, rising Phoenix champion, and now the Miss Olympia champion in the same year. Can you say something about Andrea Shaw's physique that you like? No, she she looks amazing. She has uh, this uh, round, uh, nice muscle tone. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, great, great look. Good, good look. Absolutely. So, so here comes the big question: What is Irene? Because obviously, when you're peaking now, you're not going to retire. So, what's the next? What's the next plan? <laughs> um, as it's now, um, I'm qualified for the Rising Phoenix and Miss Olympia next year. So, there will be these two shows at least. Then uh, it depends how the year will look, how they put the shows. Um, could happen. I will do one or one or maybe two shows more. I don't know. Depends on the dates of the shows. But I will come here back to Miss Olympia next year, and uh, I'm really now. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna be even better next year. <laughs> <laughs> because and I'm gonna put on some more size. Oh yes, you want <laughs> even more. <laughs> because size. because when I'm up against Mardi and uh, and uh, Monique, I could see that I I could put on some more size. Um, but I talked to Steve Weinberger and he said that your shape was 100 percent this year. So um, bring that shape next year. It, it, you you couldn't you couldn't bring a better shape. He told me so. So now I put some more size on and a bit even more better shape. <laughs> But there is something you have to do, Irene. Aren't you going to compete? Yes. You are, you are one of the most popular girls in the world. But in Europe, you're like a god. Are we going to see you in Europe <laughs> next year? At the shows, competing? No, we want to see you compete in Romania, 2021, 2021 Romania champ, Irene Anderson. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, that could be. On. I, I love to compete, to have the possibility to compete in Europe. That that that's. And that's I great. have I have some inside information, Irene. There's going to be a women's bodybuilding show. <laughs> okay, give it. <laughs> There's going to be a women's bodybuilding show, Arnold Classic, in Europe. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 Maybe more. Wow. That's, that's it. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine Irene Anderson first? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, Irene Anderson. I just want, <laughs> I just want to have you on because um, we love seeing your journey. Uh, you were in sh- the best shape of your life. You have that size we like. You have that muscle we like. You, 
well, one of the best representative man or female in the entire pro league. And we're proud to have you here on the female bodybuilding channel. And what's even cooler is that 2021 is going to be your year. Correct. Correct. I talked to uh, Bob Chigarello and he said that usually we have um, an award for the most improved athlete, but we didn't have it this year. But if we had, we would have given it to you. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> then I told, okay, then you need to bring it back next year and I bring a bit better shape. So maybe I can get it next year. <laughs> fantastic, Irene, fantastic. So I was happy to hear that. Where can people follow you? On uh, Irene Anderson, IFBB Pro, on both Facebook and Instagram. And of course, uh, don't forget to look at the documentary because it, now it's more updated than, than before. Um, too big for the world.com. You can download it there. And it's on Amazon too. When are we going to get it? Irene, stop this. When are we going to get something new from you now? <laughs> stop. When are we? You look so good and so. Oh. When are we going to get something new, Irene? When are we going to get something new? We need, we need new material, Irene. New. Okay, new. I will get over this uh, stupid COVID and. Uh, I will go back to the gym and I have a guy if we can uh, film him a bit. I know I, we talked about it a couple of months ago, my YouTube channel, Too Big for the World. Um, I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Irene. Thank you for your time, Irene. And I loved, I really loved seeing you on stage. Thank you. Thank you for what you... Thank you, Irene, for giving me a special moment because it was really special for me to see you up there last, last Friday, actually. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So what does it feel like training on 015 Nutrition's expansion? It feels like that extra expansion, definitely. You get that extra pump in the muscles, that extra blood flow, and that mind-muscle connection as you get that pump. Just feeling those muscles get full and full and full. It's definitely something that you like to experience.